Hey beautiful people, welcome to Kate's Space. I have a journal share for you today. This is one of the journals that I've been making over August, birthday month, and also over lockdown, so into September. They have taken me a long time to make, but I have thoroughly enjoyed it, although it has been challenging. They are all fabric covered um, with cardstock um, in between, stitched. This one is uh, machine stitched, and it's this beautiful Sanderson, vintage Sanderson fabric, which I've been hanging on to for a while. I've got a little bit left, which I will probably use for myself. Uh, but this one I thought I would share with the world. <laughs> it's just gorgeous, these blues. And I have sewn on a white doily uh, without wanting to cover up too much of the print. It's just gorgeous. It's got eyelets and sari silk and seam binding to close. This journal has um, five signatures. The other one had three. This one has five signatures with nine pages in each signature. It's sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch, which is, you can see here. Uh, it's pretty straight, I reckon. <laughs> yeah, so these ribbons are just tied here at the eyelet, so they can be undone and put in a different way if, uh, if needed or wanted. I have put a lace pocket at the front. It's lined with a 49er market quite heavy cardstock, which has this beautiful um, bluey gray floral here, which I didn't really want to hide. So that's why the pocket is not this way, it's that way. I made this little kind of snippety thing with a bit of sari silk ribbon and a shell button, mother of pearl button, some velvet here. Inside is a journaling card that I've made with index cards um, and I've put a fussy cut some of the fabric and put it through the embosser. I love how this has turned out and I've stitched uh, some fabric and uh, or some laces basically lace and ribbon up the top with a little charm. I love how that um, that journaling card turned out. This is a little um, mini notebook to go in in the journal i've made these before and forgot to you know and haven't included them in my journals for a while i've used the graphics fairy uh images of an old book and then i've put a image that i love on the top there some sari silk to cover the spine um, where it joins and i've three hole pamphlet stitched in some scrap paper and this is also um, the graphic fairy. It's one of the delicate end pages. And yeah, just used up some scrap paper and that also slots in there, but that can go anywhere. So that's extra journaling space. There's always quite a lot of journaling. Well, there's always heaps of journaling space in my journals. That seems to be the way that I make them. This is, uh, the spine is reinforced with a special reinforcing fabric with the tapes and some um, fabric. This is a Tim Holtz wallpaper, which I've coffee dyed on the back. This is an image from the Graphics Fairy and it has got some seam binding there. And, oh no, sorry, that's um, sari silks. I love this image. I've got a little charm here, which is just a little bead and a little silver rose charm just on a bowl pin so they can be moved and this is another one of the end papers from the graphics fairy as well some old oh, ledger paper out of a ledger um, from the 60s uh, from local locally from a lawyer in Napier and I've made a pocket here and in this pocket is a old postcard from Sent to someone who lives in Dunedin, New Zealand, June the 29th or June 29. I don't know what year. I don't know if that's 1929 or the 29th of June. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's a cool image. Um, and uh, I've included one of the um, bluey checks from 19... This one's from 1929. Oh, imagine if they were both from 1929. I've done a little bit of stamping in this one, which is new for me. I'm very nervous and not confident with my stamping, but I do love the stamp. 
so I wanted to add a little bit to this um, journal so I've done some stamping throughout this is a coffee dyed uh, page and this is a page from the 1927 diary that I have this is an old beautiful cream piece of floral or you know out of a book a botanical book and I'm pretty sure that's uh, a, another Redoute, Redoute rose image in here I've included a insurance receipt I guess you'd call it from 1948 because I really like the blues and I've also included a letter uh, this is another letter from Fraser to Ruth and this was written in 1926, uh, 18th of August. And I've included that as well for someone to read or tear up or do whatever they want with. Here I've fussy cut out these beautiful forget-me-nots and stuck them onto this music vintage music page. I've used some old sellotape here and another stamp. And this is another check. This one is also, oh, this one's from 1931. This is an old, really old vintage doily that I've used as a page. Everything's reinforced with either washi tape or masking tape or both. Beautiful satin ribbon with an old, um, this was an old earring of mine that I've popped on there. It's like velvety and that's just um, attached there with a bulb pin. This is some old, um, dressmaking pattern paper that I've backed this beautiful image from which is I'm pretty sure this one's from the girl's own paper from the 1800s and I've included some beads in the middle of this one some glass beads with a little bit of bling because they're preparing for the wedding and I thought maybe that would be kind of some jewelry looking things there's pockets here I might get a little thing to use to pop in to show you the pockets so yeah, pockets there and there. I haven't included anything because I just didn't want to hide that image. And then there's the other side with that pattern and the doily, the music, and the diary, and the coffee dyed paper with another bit of stamping here. Here is another in, uh, index card, journaling card I've made, again with the floral fabric cut out and a little bit of um, collaging with some scrapbooking papers and this is one of the vintage cards playing cards that was gifted to me from my friend Barb and there's the other side of that so that's the first signature this is some beautiful blue uh, music paper a cover again these gorgeous graphics and a little bit of like tearly blue satin ribbon that i had and a little daisy charm hanging off that bulb pin there i love this it's beautiful i love this page oh and here's a little i've just folded it up to make a little pocket i've made a fabric tag with a little snippety thing on the top and it's just backed with some white cardstock and this is a little blue or oh, not blue, but it's a little cigarette card. Jessie Matthews, whoever she is. It tells you on the back. Series of 48, number 37. It says this back is adhesive, but I don't know what that means. It doesn't seem adhesive to me, but anyway. And she's just pinned on there. Some lined paper, more stamping. This is a page out of a book on penmanship that I really love all these beautiful motifs. An old aerogram, you don't see those very often. Another stamp, a little Tim Holtz clip just holding this tag in that I made. It's just a little collage tag with some embossed paper here and a little snippet and a mother of pearl shell. And there's some old book page on the back. Another letter from Fraser to Ruth, my darling Ruth. How goes things with you? This was written in 1926 and was sent from China to New Zealand, where um, Fraser and Ruth are from. Here is just a journaling card held in with a rusty paper clip with some seam binding. And this is a ruby and pearl XO 
digital and it's just backed onto some file folder i mean manila folder page out of a book with all these beautiful blue bells and an emily bronte poem some sari silk and this is another old earring of mine <laughs> i'm glad i kept hold of these with a little blue bird kind of cute again just pinned on so it can be moved around or taken off whatever and that's the other side a little bit of stamping on this page the other side of the blue aerogram and in here is a sort of tipped in page of um, this is from the girl's own paper it's quite fragile but i thought i'd include it anyway and it folds out like that and then there's some cool old washi tape well not old washi tape but some cool looking washi tape holding that in and reinforcing it i've used some of the fabric as a wraparound sort of pocket here with a little snippet with some little white flowers i've included another journaling card here made with uh some of heather's from ruby and pearl xo's uh, wallpaper and this is a wages instruction voucher no date on it sharing and crutching so it's from a farm obviously i quite like it i think it's cool with the number on it this is one of the um flip out tags uh flip out things that i've i made um, and i have a video on that which may or may not be up when i show you this uh this um, journal inside is a vintage playing card with kofi on it which is a new zealand native tree um, but the flip uh, was um, quite weak so i turned this one into just a little floating pocket on the back is some really pretty blue uh, scrapbook paper that i've embossed and in here i've just included a little blue sort of cereal this is the north island kokako and oh these are the from greg's jelly crystal packets but i like the blues so i've just tucked them in there and that's a kiwiana kind of thing new zealand thing that's the other side of that beautiful piano paper there's some more of that end paper from the graphics fairy another stamp this paper is actually slightly blue you may or may not be able to see that on the video um, and i used black bean dye, dye black bean dye for that more of the diary music paper that's been um, strengthened with masking oh actually with just washi tape this one another little tuck spot here um, and a tag that i made this i made this tag a while ago i think maybe following one of jackie chimes's um tag uh tutorials but i love the colors you can see the stitching on the back i'm not too worried about that you can see where i stitched on the buttons but i really liked the blues and i thought it went well with this journal so i've included that and another rusty paper clip this is some lovely blue um, ribbon that joe gifted me my sister and her lovely happy mail that she gave me not that long ago this is just an old envelope that i've included there's nothing in it i just thought i'd include it it's just really gorgeous i love this and the blue uh, stamp and this is a letter to someone in australia from someone in cambridge in new zealand so yeah included that here's another center of page with this beautiful image the evening concert and i've included a bead here this um kind of a blingy sort of bead and this is some very old antique lace with some seam binding that i've stitched gathered and stitched on and here's a little snippety thing down here in this pocket i've included a couple of very old pages out of, of out of books this is from like a play of cinderella this is from the 1800s and this is from the girl's own paper and it's got a poem and a lovely image and on the back the romance of nature so that can be used or read or 
O ba? Diba? Some more. A little bit of stamping there. There's another pocket here. This is a big pocket in here. And I've included this um, card and envelope, which is from a set of cards from uh, Wellington. And they're from the 1940s. And I just thought the image was pretty cool. And it's got some blues and things in it. So I've included that. And that goes in there. If, if you want it to, or it can go somewhere else. This is from the beautiful rose book that I've got and I've included that I know it's not blue it's kind of like a, a, a pop of pink <laughs> but I loved it so I wanted to put it in and that's the end of that signature this is some really beautiful old embossed wallpaper uh, that I think Joe gave me that I've got a decent roll of that um, this is an image uh, a digital image from Ruby and Pearl XO that I've coffee stained on the back. Some grid paper. The sari ribbon ruffles. So this is a bit more. Loads and loads of journaling space for journaling, sketching. This again is a Ruby and Pearl digital image. Ruby and Pearl XO. Uh, some more stamping. This is some kind of slightly heavier sort of sketchbook paper. And again, this is the blue black bean dye paper. The edge off, off some linen. And then I've wrapped around this piece of the fabric, the Sanderson fabric. Grid paper. And the wallpaper. The wallpaper just wants to curl, but I'm sure it will flatten out with time. Another image from the Ruby and Pearl. This is a very old piece of book page from the end of a book or the beginning of a book. I always, I just love that paper. It feels so good. Good for writing on. But again, it is quite fragile. Here's a pocket I made with some scrapbooking paper on this page, which is embossed. I don't know if you can see the embossing there. Yep. And a wallpaper tag just on some watercolour paper with some velvet ribbon there and this beautiful old postcard there's no date on there there is a price on there though so I'll probably just get my rubber my eraser and rub that out how about that <laughs> but it's so gorgeous isn't it gorgeous those blues may smoothly run the sands of time and bring sweet peace to thee and thine to auntie Dorothea From Rhoda. Anyway, I thought it was cool. More stamping, some more embossed paper. This is a little notebook that um, was a little travel notebook from the 40s that someone had written in. That was a blank page. This is some old ledger. Another old page. This is from another book from the late 1800s. Again, this is really fragile. I've I have um, strengthened it, but I love the image, the fortune teller, so I wanted to put it in. Another stamp here. Nice, beautiful cream paper, and I really love these. this washi tape here. I have clipped in this envelope, which I've made out of this beautiful old wallpaper. It just feels so divine. And inside I've just popped um, this little index card that's been embossed and uh, had a little bit of dyeing, spritzing done to it. And this one too is embossed, but it's just plain white. Just pop them in there. Why not? So that clips back on there with a little tiny paper clip. They are so cute, those paper clips more of the diary and that's the end of the book so that's the fabric there and the beautiful uh, 49er market sorry 49er market paper with the blue sort of roses and that is that one the blue rose 
really really loved how this one turned out yep she is quite packed but actually there's a quite a bit of stuff in there for me i don't normally put a whole lot of stuff in mine so that it can be made smaller but yeah i think she turned out really lovely if you are interested in purchasing this journal uh you can private um you can direct message me on instagram or on my facebook page which are both um down in the description box the links are down below or she'll go up in uh, my etsy store and be for sale there thanks so much for hanging out with me today i really hope you enjoyed looking at this journal with me and i will see you again soon in the next video bye